everyone. How are you doing today? Good. I'm excited that you're here today. My name is Nora Lise and I work for the Orange County Library System. And of course, today is an amazing day and I'm so excited because I get to spend some time with you. Today, I will be sharing some songs with you in English and in Spanish. That's right, we're gonna get a bilingual story time. So I'm gonna teach you some words in Spanish. You're gonna repeat them after me and we are going to have a lot of fun. So let's get started with our hello song. Put your hands up just like me and let's sing hello everybody. Here we go. Hello everybody and how are you? How are you? How are you? Hello everybody and how are you? How are you today? Good job. In Spanish, we say hola. Can you say hola? Good job, that's hello in Spanish. And can you say amigos? Muy bien, that is friends in Spanish. And our next song, which is the same except in Spanish. We'll sing it all together. Hola amigos, como están? Como están? Como están? Hola amigos, como están? Como están hoy? Muy bien! I hope you guys are doing very well today. So, do we know, I have a question for you. Do we know what season it is? What season are we living in right now? Is it winter? Is it cold outside in some places? Is it snowing? Not in Florida. Is it winter? No. Is it fall? You know, where we could see the leaves change and the air is a little crisp and chilly. My favorite season. Is it fall? No. Is it, is it summer? where it's really hot and we're all out of school, or we could go and have some fun outside in the parks. We can still do that, but is it is it summer? No, it's actually spring. And spring is a beautiful time during the year. Do you know why? Because so many things are blooming. That's right. There are flowers everywhere and trees are growing new leaves. And this season in Spanish is called primavera. Can you say primavera? Muy bien, primavera. It's a long word, but it's so much fun to say. Primavera. Very good, it is spring. And what is one thing that grows during this time? It blooms on our grass, in the park. Um, you can see it sometimes just walking around your neighborhood. What are some things that can bloom? Flowers, that's right, flores. Flores is flowers in Spanish. We could see flowers and flowers they come in all colors. Can we think about some colors that we see? I have a nice little white box here and in my white box I have different color scarves. Now, let me pull one out. Ooh, have we seen a blue flower before? Can you say blue? Blue! Can you say azul? Azul! Muy bien! Yes! That is blue in Spanish. So we can see blue flowers everywhere. Let's see what other color I have in my box. Ooh, green. We definitely see a lot of green during this time on our trees growing new green leaves and on the stem of our flowers you can see green. Can you say verde? Verde. That's how you say green in Spanish. Very good. I have more colors. Let's see. Um, ooh, yellow. This bright, bright color is yellow. And yellow in Spanish is amarillo. Can you say amarillo? Muy bien, yes, it's amarillo. Ooh, I love yellow flowers. They're so pretty and so bright. Ooh, what color do we see here? Do we have red? Can you say rojo? Rojo, muy bien, yes. We have red flowers as well. Ooh, 
and our last color here, what's the name of this color? Orange, that's right. Orange in Spanish is anaranjado. Can you say anaranjado? Good job. Now talking about flowers, it reminds me of a very short um, little poem. I'd love to share that poem with you today. I'm gonna put down some of mine and let's see. Um, I'm gonna use my scarf as a prop today and I think I want the color yellow, amarillo. Yes, I'm gonna choose yellow here. So I'm gonna take my yellow scarf and I'm going to scrunch it up in my hand until you can't see it. Whoop, where'd it go? It's in my hand. Yes, it's still in here, guys. So my little rhyme goes like this. This is a green leaf, and this is a green leaf, and this is the bud of the flower that is blooming just for you. <laughs> That's pretty cool. If you have something that you can scrunch in your hands, maybe like a napkin or a small um, uh, blanket, you can join me in doing this too. Scrunch it up in your hand just like this. I'm now going to teach it to you in Spanish. So we have it in here. And our thumbs are going to be our leaves, our hojas leaves in Spanish. It goes like this. Esta es una hoja verde. Y esta es una hoja verde. Y este es el capullo que hace la flor crecer para ti. <laughs> Good job. I encourage you when you go outside, spot some flowers and explore the world. There's so many colors out there. Good job, friends. Thank you so much for doing that with me. Remember, keep practicing those colors. You know, this got me thinking. Now, it's not, flowers aren't the only thing that we see around, right? Have you seen birds flying around? I've seen so many just in my backyard. It's so fun to see them roam and fly and have so much fun with each other. And don't forget they're pretty singing. Tweet, 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 tweet. I love to listen to them. So I have a story today that I wanna share with you. And my story, I'm gonna tell it a little different. This is called a cut and tell story. Well, I'm gonna use this piece of paper. Do you remember the color that you see in front of you now? Yellow, and yellow in Spanish is amarillo, yes. So I'm gonna use this piece of paper. This is just construction paper. We open it and I fold it in half. I'm gonna need a pair of scissors. So I have my blue scissors here. Um, azul, can you say azul? Very good. And then I'm gonna be using a black marker. So I have this black marker. Now, this story is about a bird and a mama bird and a daddy bird. Well, mama bird was making a nest. Why would mama bird and papa bird need a nest? Hmm. Can you guess and think why mama bird and papa bird would need a nest? I'm gonna use my paper here and I'm gonna cut out a nest so that we can think about some things that are inside a nest. What are some things that a bird can use in their nest? Grass, yes. Leaves, very good. How about some branches? Can they use some branches? We could put some branches on our leaves, on, on our nest as well. Yes, so mama bird and daddy bird, well they were busy. And they made a nest and they filled it up to make it super comfy for their eggs because oh, they were gonna have baby birds very soon. So, Mama Bird took her job very serious. And well, she sat on her nest and eggs for a very long time until her birds were ready to hatch. Well, guess what? One day, a really, really strong storm came through and Mama Bear, she didn't give up. She was a strong bird. And as the wind came through, can you pretend to be the wind? Can you go, shh? As the wind came through, she stood on her eggs and took care of them. The rain came down. Can you do the rain sound? 
Stranduvia. The rain came down and she stood to keep her eggs safe. Well, guess what? Fortunately for her, she was not alone. She had a nice friend. He was a little bug and he loved to spend time with her. So he would kind of make a little spot there on the nest and spend time with her and her little eggs. And then another little friend came, you know, to have some more company, give her more company as she takes care of her little eggs. And so we had, she had her two little friends there to help her through this time. Well, guess what? A few days went by. They were having a good time, waiting for her eggs to hatch, her little babies to hatch. And oh, whoop, she heard a little crack. Whoop, a small crack just like that in one of her eggs. Oh, guys. And soon after, she heard a very, very, very big crack. And all the way through the egg just like that. Well, Mama was a little surprised because she looked down and there was her little bird that came out of her egg. Tweet, 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 And they lived happily ever after. The end. <laughs> Good job, what a cool story about birds. When you go out the next day, would you try to spot a bird? Look at its color. And you should try to remember what color and how to say it in Spanish. Very good, friends. Good, good job. Do you remember the friends that were in the story for Mama Bird? Mm -hmm. She had bugs. There are all kinds of bugs these days, and you could definitely find them crawling around and walking around when you go outside. Well, I want to share some bugs that I found under my little rug here. I have a rug. Bugs in the rug. Yes, some more friends, probably, of Mama Bird. Well, I want to introduce you to my bugs. And I'm gonna open up here my rug and I'm gonna pull out a bug or an insect. And can you tell me the name of this bug or insect? Whoop! What is it? It's a butterfly! Yes! They fly around just like mama and papa bird and soon those baby birds. Yes! Butterfly in Spanish is mariposa. Can you say mariposa? Very good. Yes, mariposa. Hey, you can go off and fly free, butterfly. Ooh, who else do we have? This one is yellow and black, and it says bzzz. What insect is that? Is it a bee? You're right, it is a bee. Bzzz. Can I bring this little baby bumblebee home with me? Do you think my mommy would be happy? Hmm, I don't know. But can you say abeja? Abeja, muy bien, that's how you say bee in Spanish. <laughs> Very good. Let's put our bee down here. I think we have another bug in here. Ooh, let's see, let's see, let's see. What other bug do I have in my rug? Ooh, is it a caterpillar? It is! It's a caterpillar. Can you say gusano? Gusano. Muy bien. Yes, that's how we say caterpillar in Spanish. What cool bugs we got to see today. See, bugs can keep us company. They work very hard to stay safe outside. Thanks for playing with me. Would you help me sing a special song? that I'm sure you guys have heard before. We have another friend that has eight legs and he likes to go up the water spout. Do you know who I'm talking about? The Itsy Bitsy Spider. You guessed it, that's right. Can we sing that song together? Let's get our Itsy Bitsy Spiders ready to go. And let's sing it together, here we go. The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. Good job.
love muy bien. I'd love to sing that song with you in Spanish. Let's bring out our spiders again. La ranita pequeñita subió, subió, subió. Vino la lluvia y se la llevó. Salió el sol y todo se secó. La ranita pequeñita subió, subió, subió. Muy bien. Muchas gracias. Good job. Thank you very much. I have one more song I'd love to sing with you, and this one is called Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star. We'll have our stars shining up so bright in the sky, and you'll sing along with me. Here we go. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Good job. Very good, friends. Now, one more time. Let's sing it in Spanish. Estrellita, ¿dónde estás? Me pregunto qué serás. En el cielo, en el mar, un diamante de verdad. Estrellita, ¿dónde estás? Me pregunto, ¿qué serás? Muy bien, muchas gracias. I've had so much fun with you today talking about spring, la primavera, and I do hope that the next time you go outside, you can spot some things that are new around you or are very bright in color. Thank you so much for joining me. Please join me in singing our goodbye song. And it goes like this. We'll clap our hands and tap our feet and roll our hands and wave goodbye. Our hands say thank you with a clap, clap, clap. And our feet say thank you with a tap, tap, tap. And a clap, clap, clap with a tap, tap, tap. And we roll faster, 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 más rápido. Our hands together and we wave. Goodbye. Thank you, everyone. Have a good day. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to be the first to find out when we have new fun and informative videos for you. Orange County Library System is your place to learn, grow, connect.